Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles and today I wanted to share with you guys the details of the items that I used for making Audrey's costume for being um, the Joker from Persona. So I want to kind of show you guys here some of the details of the parts of Audrey's costume uh, that I used in making her costume to be the Joker from Persona. And um, I wanted to just sort of show you guys a little bit of some of the smaller parts of the project more up close. Uh, for these, for this, first of all, I wanted to use felt because I knew that the I was going to be making a big jacket, and the best material for that would be something like a felt material, other obviously than wool, which would be really cool. But I, I didn't want to put the money into that, so I figured the felt would hold its shape best and look actually like a really like an actual jacket. So I went and bought a whole bunch of this black felt and it comes in a rectangular shape that's like 60 by 70 centimeters and it's kind of a nice thin sort of felt so it makes for a good shape I think without getting too heavy. Um, of course it is felt so it's kind of stiff a little and maybe not the best thing to wear all day long but for a costume I figured it'd be good enough and I got all the pieces I needed it here and I think there was like six pa six or seven panels to the coat and with all seven panels you also needed you know I needed to have two pieces of the felt connected to themselves to be long enough because the jacket is so long and so overall I would say just on that you know we needed like five pieces of the fabric and then probably another two for the sleeves and another two for the collar so I can't I should have taken notes better to tell you guys but definitely under 10 not quite 10 pieces of the felt was what I used probably to make the entire jacket and it was such a nice easy thing to fold and cut up and everything sew together because you don't have to worry about finishing any of the seams when you use felt, so that's nice. Um, so I had this fabric for that, and um, it, like I said, it worked pretty nicely and uh, was, a, was a good buy. I had to go, I did buy quite a lot at front, and then I thought possibly I'd be making pants for her too, so I had extra of this, but I wound up not using it. So um, it was, you know, but you always can find a use for black felt so it wasn't that much of a loss and then right here I have this denim that I bought and this is just a, a polyester denim that they had at the hundred and store that is for uh, sewing projects and they had pieces there and I um, use this for making Kate's pants mostly but of the six pieces I bought three of them were this black on one side and black on the other, and then three of them were gray on the other side. And this is just the perfect gray for Audrey's vest, I thought. And so I made the vest with that material. And this is the finished vest right here, you guys. Um, you guys can see it up close and see how poorly I made it. <laughs> But um, for this particular pattern, I wanted to try to create this vest. You know, you see a lot of vests and waistcoats, and they're in a different cut here. You know, the op this is open. It's not up like this kind of military style here. I don't know the official fancy words for it. But I knew I wanted something like that and with a tall collar. And so I found a um, weird uh, pattern, and I'll link a picture to it possibly in the description or post it on my Instagram or something, but it was from an old pattern. And I was like, that's the shape that I want though. I want to go with that. So I printed out and I just expanded it until it was the right size and, uh, you know, tried to match the dimensions of that with the dimensions that were for Audrey and then made a mock-up with a felt and saw where I needed to make some adjustments and then wound it up with this finished piece. And it's basically just, you know, the, actual piece of this and then I just sewed the inside to create the appearance that it's actually pieced together with panels when it's not and um, and then the collar does go on separately that was that was one thing and in this case you know I did want to finish it a little because you know it didn't have to be super finished so I just did that a little bit but then it uh, so you know has like a sort of shorter back in the back 
kind of. It looks nice there on the back. Um, and then for this accent line here, he has these cool strips of, you know, leather running on his, leather piping actually. But um, I just went ahead and used these fake leather um, things that they had at Daiso. I can't think of the name of this, this, you know, what is this, the word? I can't remember. There's, yeah, a word for it, and it'll come to me later. But um, it was actually wider than this, and I cut it so that I could, you know, thinking I'd need to use a lot of it, I cut it in half and then just sewed it on. And it actually, it was absolute torture to sew on. My machine hated this material, hated how, you know, sticky it is, and just kept staying in the same spot and sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing forever and ever and ever. So, yeah, that took forever. But I finally got those on there. And then I, I wanted to make, I wanted buttons and I had some other kinds of buttons and they were really cool that you kind of pound on, you know, that you snap in, but I could only get six of them and I needed eight for this. And then I have two on the back of the jacket as well. And I was like, okay, I went back to the same Daiso and they still didn't have more. So I opted to make my own and I actually used this kind of, uh, just a craft fabric-y tape kind of like paper that you can get, you know? This is basically a big giant sticker that has a feel of fabric and it's also glittery gold. And so I used that with these, you know, I had a, a kit for making your own buttons and I just did that and um, sewed them on there. So it kind of looks pretty cool, I thought, you know, it has a nice feel to it. And then when I made this, I thought, okay, it would be really cool to do um, hook and eye fasteners for everything here. But um, then I thought, you know what, I bet once I get those on there, it's not going to be right. When she puts, when she, when she tries to move and tries to play guitar, it's just going to open up right away. And sure enough, it did. So we, I opted out to put a, a zipper right here and I went to Daiso to get a zipper. And they either had zippers that were like 15 or 20 centimeters long or 120 centimeters long. Those are your only choices. And I was like, okay, well, that's stupid. So I got this one. But as I finished it, I realized that it is one that does not open at the end. So we have this amazingly epically lame moment where it just stops right there in the middle of it. So that's okay. But, you know, so she just has to put it on over her head and then we can zip it up all the secrets of this beautiful project here but um so that's kind of how this whole thing pieced together you know and I think it it went uh really smoothly actually aside from the annoyingness of the sewing with this particular fabric when I was just using the denim the polyester denim that was really quick and easy work so um I really liked the way it turned out we're actually thinking of putting this piping kind of material thing on the jacket too because some people show that as, ha as him having that along the different panels as separators but um when we got the whole jacket done we're kind of like you know that just sort of looks cool by itself and I asked Audrey and she's like no I think I like it just the way it is and I sort of sighed a beautiful sigh of relief in my heart because I was like oh I did not want to sew with that crappy material again on the whole jacket so I was very grateful for that <laughs> she didn't know but I was very happy she picked that so <laughs> so I thought this was a pretty fun little I had a lot of fun making this and I thought it turned out pretty good we got the goal of what we wanted for sure and then the other thing that we made with everything was the gloves and like I mentioned like I um I don't know if I said it yet because I've done this video so many times I can't remember when I wanted to make the gloves I was going to use some fake leather that they had at the hundred yen store but and even though I had some uh, different variations and versions of patterns I tried it failed I tried again it failed I tried and I tried to turn it inside out and I couldn't because it was just too small I tried using I gave up using other material and just started using cotton so that I could even just see if it was the right size every time I tried it was either it was always just too small and um and it wasn't going well sewing wise so I tried to you know I, I literally spent the whole day and I think I made maybe 10 or 15 different mock-ups of different different uh, versions I finally got to a point where her fingers would fit in but then it looked like it was like you know like fish fins or something it just looked so pathetic so yeah I did not make these 
we bought these and I wanted to make sure we found that nice, you know, blood red with that cool shiny finish to it. And, um, you know, I think we found some good ones. And these were only like 1,200 yen, I think. Um, you know, I don't know if Audrey will ever really wear them outside in her normal day to day life, but he, this is the signature part of his costume aside from his mask, which Audrey didn't want me to make. So I gotta have, we had to have them. So I'm glad we got them, but it did make the cost of the costume go up a little bit, but yeah. So that was just sort of a look at some of the things I wanted you guys to see some parts of this a little up close. And then I'm going to also show some stuff of Audrey wearing the costume later on and share with you guys some details of that at that time. Uh, thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the other side. So here you can see everything on. We had Audrey just wear a standard sort of dress shirt underneath as her first layer and then the vest and the jacket. It is quite a lot to wear and it can get kind of warm so you know you definitely want to make sure you're in a place where it's a little cool. Uh, but the jacket itself uh, with the sizing and everything that I followed just was a perfect fit and hit her at a great length at the bottom and it looks really cool when she walks around it kind of moves around behind her so uh, she really liked that part of it a lot and the cuffs turn out really good I think you know on the original he probably has like big buttons on the cuffs and stuff but I think it turned out better with it just sort of being simple like this Audrey really liked that part of it so um, I think overall you know it was a pretty successful endeavor and she was really pleased with the results so if any of you guys are thinking about making your own cosplay or costume uh, that's similar to this I'd really recommend checking out some of the places I'll link in the description uh, for free patterns and such you can find your inspiration in lots of different places so keep looking around for things if you want to try to make things on a budget and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and uh, thanks again you guys so much have a great safe and happy Halloween and we'll talk to you all later bye